Z-Biotics is a probiotic beverage that claims it can, quote, break down acetaldehyde, aiming to ease, quote, rough mornings after drinking. While they don't explicitly say hangover in their marketing, it's pretty clear what they're talking about. But you might still be wondering, does Z-Biotics really aid in alcohol metabolism and alleviate hangovers? And if not, what benefits does it have? Zbiotics uses a bacterial strain named Bacillus subtilis ZB183, which has been genetically altered to produce an enzyme called acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. Bacillus subtilis is frequently modified genetically because of its rapid growth and ease of genetic manipulation, making it an ideal candidate for producing various other proteins and enzymes. The idea here is that after we drink and our body starts to metabolize the alcohol, acetaldehyde dehydrogenase helps break down the acetaldehyde produced, which is then further metabolized before removal from the body. Real cutting edge stuff. But a common issue with using cutting edge or new ingredients is the lack of solid evidence backing up their supposed benefits. A lot of these fancy ingredients are based on theoretical research done in animals and cells, not on real people. The big question is whether supplement with Bacillus subtilis ZB183 has reliable shown any health benefits for humans? Well, right now the answer is no. Neither Bacillus subtilis ZB183 nor any genetically modified Bacillus subtilis probiotics have been tested in human clinical trials for safety or effectiveness. So far, these probiotics have only been tested in mice. In one study, Bacillus subtilis was genetically engineered to produce both acetaldehyde dehydrogenase and alcohol dehydrogenase enzymes. It's worth noting Noting that this isn't the strain used in Zbiotics. It's actually a more comprehensive one, which breaks down not only acetaldehyde, but alcohol as well. The experiments on mice showed that this modified strain could potentially ease alcohol-induced liver damage, hinting at its usefulness for detoxifying alcohol and lessening alcohol-related liver issues. Another study gave Bacillus subtilis to mice and found that it helped restore the balance of gut bacteria, reduce damage to intestinal barrier, and lowered levels of harmful substances in the bloodstream, ultimately improving liver health by reducing inflammation. However, this study didn't use a genetically modified version of Bacillus subtilis. It used a specific strain called CMCC 1.3358. Also, its benefits mostly focused on reducing the damage caused by alcohol rather than metabolizing the alcohol itself. Even safety studies have only been done on rats. One study gave the actual Zbiotic strain to Wistar rats and found no negative effects on various parameters, including signs of illness or mortality rates. There was a slight increase in plasma albumin levels at a higher dose, but it was not considered harmful. There is a single human study on a supplement called AB001, which contains Bacillus subtilis. In it, 24 participants took it for a week before drinking alcohol, and it did lower their levels of alcohol compared to a placebo. However, there are several glaring issues with trying to use this study to back the use of Zbiotics. Firstly, the Bacillus subtilis used wasn't genetically modified. Secondly, the supplement contained other probiotics and L cysteine, so we can't be sure if the effect was solely due to the Bacillus subtilis. Thirdly, the participants took the supplement for a week prior to drinking, so it wasn't a quick fix. Lastly, although it reduced blood alcohol levels, it didn't improve cognitive function, meaning it ultimately didn't help with hangover symptoms. To sum it up, there's no proof that Zbiotics works or is safe for humans to manage hangovers. There's only one safety study on the specific Zbiotic strain, and it's in rodents. Of the three efficacy studies on other Bacillus subtilis strains, two were conducted on rodents, and the one in humans doesn't really support the use of Zbiotics at all. While research on mice and other animals can give us valuable insights into the potential benefits of probiotics, it doesn't prove their effectiveness for human health. Human physiology is complex and differs significantly from that of rodents. For us to truly understand how Zbiotics affects human health, we would need clinical trials of Zbiotics with human participants. These trials would give us a more accurate picture of how they interacted with the human body. But since we don't have any of these trials yet, 
idea. The idea that Z-Biotics can help with quote, rough mornings after drinking or break down acetaldehyde in humans is purely theoretical. Even if Z-Biotics were discovered to effectively break down acetaldehyde in the human gut, it wouldn't necessarily mean it could help with hangovers. Acetaldehyde levels in the blood are just one of many factors contributing to hangover symptoms or those unpleasant quote morning afters following a night of drinking. Focusing solely on acetaldehyde breakdown is not likely to be an effective solution for managing hangovers. In fact, studies show that the amount of acetaldehyde in the body doesn't seem to be linked with how severe a hangover is. Rather, it's the amount of alcohol in the body that seems to play a role. Moreover, acetaldehyde levels don't even seem to be connected with the levels of inflammation and oxidative stress in the body, both of which worsen hangover symptoms. In contrast, alcohol levels in the body are significantly linked to these factors. So while acetaldehyde is a toxic byproduct of drinking alcohol, the idea that it's the main culprit behind hangovers is simply not true. It's actually the alcohol itself that directly harms the body and causes hangover symptoms. When you drink alcohol, your liver immediately starts converting the highly toxic alcohol into something less harmful, which is acetaldehyde. While acetaldehyde isn't completely harmless, it's much less damaging than alcohol. So if the goal is to ease hangover symptoms, it makes more sense to target alcohol breakdown rather than acetaldehyde. Focusing on acetaldehyde breakdown might seem to address some toxic byproducts, but it won't tackle the root cause of it all, the alcohol itself. So are there scientifically backed supplements for hangovers? Yes, but the evidence isn't very strong overall. Although it is still stronger than what we have for zeobiotics or any genetically engineered probiotics. I won't go into a comprehensive review of all these supplements here, as that's not the focus of this discussion. However, some options worth considering include clove extract, tofenamic acid, peritonol, hovodina dulcis fruit extract, L-cysteine, red ginseng, and Korean pear juice. Interestingly, while Z-Biotics with genetically engineered Bacillus subtilis bacteria lacks any human evidence for managing hangovers, there is a product called Biozyme that may offer some promise. It's actually made by fermenting vegetables with Bacillus subtilis bacteria. In one study, administering 100 mg of Biozyme before drinking reduced alcohol and aldehyde levels in the body, with the aldehyde lowering effects lasting for at least 4 hours. So why isn't Biozyme, which actually has been shown to reduce aldehyde levels in humans in at least one week study, as popular as Z-Biotics, which lacks any such evidence? Well, it's probably a matter of marketing and hype, rather than actual effectiveness. Plus, Biozyme is currently only available in Japan. In my view, the probiotics and Z-Biotics are unlikely to have much, if any, effect on hangover symptoms. Any relief you may experience from drinking it is probably due to the slight rehydration from the potassium and sodium it contains, which you could achieve more effectively by simply drinking something with electrolytes. There's just no human evidence to back up the claim that it can reduce aldehyde levels in the body. And even if it could, reducing aldehyde levels may not benefit your hangover at all. Genetically modifying probiotics for commercial use is a fairly new venture. Indeed, Zbiotics is one of the first companies in the world to commercially produce and sell genetically engineered probiotic products. But just because it's new doesn't mean it'll be more effective, or effective at all. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. What are some of your experiences using Zbiotics? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with some you know who use the info. 